Hi there, Karl Kosoma. Atlas is a very spectacular big beetle uh, from tropical Asia. And that's why you see it often in collections, because it's really huge with uh, this three-horned um, head capsule. Today I will check three boxes where what happened in there because I think it could be time for Hokusoma Atlas to pupate or um, probably there are also adults to find. I don't know yet. I'm, I don't uh, promise anything. But let's have a look here. I have three boxes. In each of it uh, is a uh, one larvae. It, last time I checked it, 26th of June. Then it was uh, still an L3 larva. So let's see what happened here. That's the normal view. What you see here. Pieces of white rotten wood in the substrate. So let's yeah, here we can see, I think, we can see a pupil here, so let's control whether the pupil chamber is intact or we have to rescue the pupa. Now, I think there is a wire worm here. I don't see them, I don't like to see them here, because they are, they can be pretty aggressive. This is the normal uh, compost worm. You see it from the color in another light. You see this one, the compost worm is a little bit more reddish. If we have to clean it so that we can see the colors better. And this one, this, this wire worm is, 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 is very active, jumping around, can move from one box to another, and it's, it's, it's difficult to get rid of it. So, um, these gray ones I really don't like in the, in a rearing container and that's why I put my substrate normally uh, in the freezer. Uh, it kills these uh, uh, worms very efficiently. So now let's go to this pupa. I have a look what is going on inside first. We put the worms away. They can go to play outside. <laughs> so and then let's have a look. So we open now very carefully the purple chamber here just to see this is the uh-huh it's moving around looks not bad but now I, I take it out and make an artificial purple chamber that's the skin of the of the larva what you see here um, if we go a little bit closer, we can hear this the head capsule of the larva here. It's the mandibles. Looks like from a zombie movie, <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so now we go, we go back to this larva. We open it like this so that we can see the pupil chamber a little bit better. So it looks clean and good, so it's not in complete danger, and it's a male. That's also very nice, so we can see whether it's, it's, it's a mature or not. And of course, I also will try to see how, how, how much it weighs. This is a, pe a piece of, uh, of wood, and underneath that wooden piece, it built the structure of the pupil cell. No, no, let's take it out. It's not, this is not a, a very big one, but you see the horns. And now let's put it on, it's 24, 24 grams. And that's the pupa under this microscopic lens. This here is the, is, is the, carefully called, this is the eye here. These are the, the horns on the pronotum and of course these are the legs here. I think I don't have to clean it, I just uh, prepare my peat pots. Uh, 
to put the pupa in and it seems like it should emerge in around I would say one two weeks would be so it has this uh, yellowish orange tan already so it can be pretty close to pupation that's the pupil chamber as I always do it just like this that's the original size of the pupil chamber. You see, it, it's, it's a, it has the size of a of a bigger egg, and also the form of an egg. So that is not a bad reshaped here with this artificial cell like this, and the head was to this side. So we put it in here. So and then we close it again. And of course now we have to see where we can uh, put it into a not too big box. Uh, but because I don't see not uh, a lot of active warmth here, I just put some of this old substrate in, uh, make it wet so that the humidity is pretty high here. I mean, this is a beetle from a tropical rainforest, especially in Indonesia. So it's used to high uh, humidity. That's it. So we wait and see how it is developing. Let's have a look to the to the wooden pieces I added here last time. I think that you can see here also that the larvae, larva ate up a bit of this wood chunks in here. And also after I, I changed the substrate, it went pretty quick to this pupa stage. These are beautiful white rotten pieces, animals like Halkosoma. Or a lot of rhinoceros beetles, they like these white rotten wood pieces. Of course I keep them, I can use them for another box. But now I have two more boxes to, to show and to check. This one look, looks a bit more earthy up here. So let's have a look where the pupa or larva is. Do we see anything? Not yet. Huh? Oh, where is it? Also here I put some big chunks of white rotten wood into the substrate. And now let's have a look what happened. Oh yes. Look how the look where the larva is larva is. It's in the middle of this chunk of wood. It opened the hole, went inside, and now it's eating here, chewing up the white rotten wood from inside. Um, probably we can show it under the uh, microscope also a little bit, but first we have to clean the box here where she's sitting. It is completely covered in the in the chopped up white rotten wood pieces and of course it's a, a very good place to hide in the middle of in between these two uh, blocks of white rotten wood that is a nice place also to form a pupil chamber you can see that here that's a place a, a piece of the of the of this wood that was carved out by the Lord. So we, we leave it exactly like it is, put it back back to the box, cover it again. We can make it a little bit wetter because it seems a little bit dry. Um, and here we have to write that we, we check again in about two or three months whether it has pupated then already or not but it needs I think a little bit more uh, water here 
not drying up. And we can also make it like this. Well, then we have one more box. This one here. They are all around the same age. This was an L3 larva of 30 grams. That's not too big for Hofkosoma Atlas. Let's see what they do now. So here, it's this uh, piece of white rotten wood that, that, that I presented to the Lord. Seems like here is something, oh yeah. Well, practically the same as with the other larva before. It carved out a hole in the white rotten wood piece and it's living inside this small hole. Uh, inside the wood, but that's also clear for everybody to see that the larva of Chalkosoma atlas likes it very much to sit in the middle of white rotten uh, wood and goes inside and eats it up the whole uh, piece of, of wood. So that's the same position that we will place it back in the container. Uh, Oh, we can. So this is not very heavy. 23, but they can, before they, before they pupate, they can become smaller and uh, lose a lot uh, some of the weight. So I put her back like this, cover the same size as we opened it, and then I put back all the material, and now. We've seen that also with the other larva, we have to wait for another two months, then we will see the first adults of Halkosoma Atlas. Thanks for watching.